Okay, so I already put out the weekly tarot message. And the reason I do these is just to, you know, everybody's on a journey. We're all doing, trying to do our best or obtain what we want, our dreams and wishes. And, you know, sometimes life gets in the way. So I like to put out messages. I was doing them daily, but I got a little much. But we're going to expand on that weekly message. So there's something, like some kind of spark or passion within you. Something that you're dreaming of, wishing of. And something keeps getting in the way. You know, whether that is other people, whether it's our old patterns of belief, if it's our uh, habits, our addictions, um, our own thoughts, our emotions, whatever it is. So I'm going to expand on that and do each sign. So I got some oracles. And um, at the end, we'll do two tarot cards just to, you know, clarify. But we're going to go ahead and start into it. We're, of course, we're going to go ahead and start with Aries. So let's go ahead and see what is coming up. Um, so please bring in the best message, universe and spirit for the sign of Aries here. So we have first card coming out is healer and the light attributes. Well, let's get the negative attributes first. Okay. So we have healer here. Okay. And the shadow attribute says taking advantage of those who need help and failing to care for oneself. So when we get into those, um, lower vibrations, it could be, you're not, you know, taking care of yourself. You could be um maybe infringing on other people whatever that might be so that's the shadow aspect but the light attribute when we're in our higher vibration where we try to strive to be it says passion to serve others by repairing the body mind and spirit ability to help transform pain into healing so you know bottom line we all know that if we don't take care of ourselves, if we don't fill our own cup it's going to be hard to take care of other people right so that's what we want to strive for so with that spark that weekly message you know you could be neglecting something within you whether it's something that you need to heal whether it's self-care whether it's taking time out whether it's letting go of a habit or addiction whatever that is okay and you got two cards this week um when i shuffled you know so i was going to pull one but we got two here so we also have the liberator with this healer so and that kind of reminds me like of uh, aries because aries are kind of pioneers you know they um paved the pathway so being the first sign so this shadow attribute says imposing your own tyranny over those who claim to liberate and ignoring legitimate constraints so told you this kind of sounds like an aries right we get something in our mind or if there's an underdog available or we feel that we're taking advantage of you know out comes that warrior right and that's something that we need to work through as we move along in life because you know we can't be you know wrecking havoc <laughs> <laughs> destroying the town right so um you know it's a good aspect if we uh, do it the right way so the sh the light attribute says freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs and releasing negative thought patterns so there you go so there's something here um even though you've done a lot of work you might be thinking you're doing your best there might be still something from who knows your childhood something that you were raised with some old pattern of belief that you somehow got along the way whether it was a relationship in some kind of connection whatever it was so really take a look at that and i want you to really look at it because you know if you want change and you want things to be different and you want to bring in your abundance we have to quit denying things we have to quit overlooking things or burying things so those are the two cards coming out for you aries so with this spark which you are a fire sign and you know that you've seen that message if you did watch it it had the queen of wands and it also had the emperor which are both aries cards so high energy of aries so there could be something that you're overlooking that you've buried deep within could be even how you think about yourself or how you think, think people are uh, viewing you. So take a look at that, okay? So then we have this essential oil card and it says forgiveness. So there could be an underlying something you're holding on to that you need to forgive, whether that's yourself or someone else from your past, you know? The past is the past and we need to move on from that. We can't take that what well, we can, but if we drag that chain with us of revenge or regret or bitterness or, whatever that is, it's going to stay with us and it's going to shadow our life, right? So there's something about forgiveness here and it says renewing. So it's time for a new beginning here, Aries, with all, without all that baggage. So you could be dragging some baggage with you. And the trigger statement is, I did not deserve this. So that's kind of a victim mentality, Aries, right? You know, bottom line, bad, bad people, and sometimes not even bad people, thing, people do bad things to people, unfortunately. They carry their own baggage. 
um, their own traumas, their own experiences. So there could be something there that you need to let go of, you know, once and for all and forgive it. You know, everybody's at a certain place in their life and, and we evolve all the time. So if that was the past or whatever happened, they have their own issues to work on, but you don't need to carry that burden on to you. Okay. It's holding you back. And the true statement is I forgive. And it says, allow the labels of judgment to disappear. See the situations and individuals through your heart and forgive yourself. So this could even be like, if somebody is judging you or seeing you in a, like you molding you into a certain thing and you know, you're not that. Or maybe you were in your past and they're still thinking that, you know, thinking that you're the same as you were 10 years ago. Let it go. Let it go. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is how you feel about yourself. Okay. And we're going to get a shadow card. Surrender shadow card. This is a surrender card. I'm sorry. Surrender to complete healing. There you go, Aries. And it says open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. So I feel like there's still something that you might not even realize, Aries, that's still holding you back. Some kind of wound from your past that you need to let go of and forgive and move forward. You know, because you have that spark and you have that drive. You have that creativity and passion. But if there's something that's holding it down, it's never going to be expanded enough to bring in what you wish for. So there's always going to be some shadow over it. So it's time to forgive and surrender to that complete healing. And your two tarot cards here. So we have the two of wands as well as the ace of swords. So the two tarot cards you have here, Aries, are the ace, uh, two of wands as with the ace of swords. And the ace of swords was actually in the weekly reading. This is about getting clarity, a revelation, right? So this is a beginning. Ace is always the beginning. So it's uh, like a new thought of clarity coming in for you. And the two of wands is like accomplishing things from the past, but you're kind of like figuring out like what's next? What, what do I do next? So contemplating the future, making decisions about the future. So there's something here that's going to bring clarity to what you need to do next. And let's face it, Aries, a lot of times we start a project and then we quit. <laughs> Be honest, we do because we have such a we want to keep moving forward. So we get tired of something and bored and we move to our next thing. So this is contemplating, you know, it might be like contemplating the things that you have experienced and learned from and what would be best for you, weighing the pros and cons and things like that. So you are going to get some clarity with that. So I feel like if you address that issue of what might be holding you back or how you're viewing yourself and you come to this com conclusion or this clarity that you're going to be able to make the best decision on how to move forward. OK, so this is about assessing the opportunities at hand. Um, you could be in the middle of changing something, changing careers, leaving a relationship, starting a new relationship, whatever it is. So that's the energy with that. But you do need to finish up that healing. There's something, you know, and if you're not seeing it, really look deep. You know, what triggers you? Because usually what triggers you is telling you, hey, you need to address this a little more. Okay? Because there's this renewal coming in, but you have to forgive something from your past, even if it's yourself. Okay? Because it does look like a lot of you could be healers here and, you know, liberators for other people. But bottom line, we have to fill our own cup before we can, you know, assist other people in the best way possible. You know, even the healers need healing. So, you know, and that's a constant thing. We, all, we have triggers come up. We have different things come up. So, you know, instead of looking at yourself as why me or victim or you know i'm not going to move forward because this person thought this about me or whatever it's time to heal that wound that's within you and get that clarity and give that forgiveness so you can move forward so surrender to that healing okay because you have a mission here aries that you need to accomplish and you do have that spark within so that is your message aries thanks so much for watching take care Hello, Leo. So we're going to go ahead and get into your message. This is expanding on the weekly message, you know, having that spark inside and then kind of sabotage, sabotaging ourselves, or, you know, blocking our own way. Um, it can be external. A lot of times it's internal, but we'll see what comes up. So for you, Leo, and please take what resonates. This can be different for everyone or it could be not resonating at all. So we have virgin. <laughs> so virgin. All right, that kind of reminds me of a uh, Virgo. But the shadow attribute is fear of intimate union. So this spark inside that you have, is it 
are you blocking it out of fear of an intimate connection? Is it a due to a relationship? But the light attribute is maintaining symbolic purity of heart and spirit. Okay? So, bottom line is getting back to all those wounds that we've achieved over the, I shouldn't even say achieved, I, that sounds like a positive word, brought on to ourselves, or people have gave us to carry that burden of our wounds and heartbreak and things like that. It's letting go and getting back to that innocence, right? So the essential oil card for you is bliss. Love that. It's invigorating. And the challenge or the trigger statement says, why am I here? So bottom line, I'm kind of getting like getting into relationships and then all of a sudden the grass looks greener. You're noticing all their problems, all their flaws. And, you know, kind of running, running out of the situation. And bottom line, I feel like it is the fear the fear of because things are moving forward or getting close or the, you know, the realness of that connection is coming together. But the true statement is I make a difference. So it might have an underlying feeling of I'm not good enough. That's why I got my heartbreak before. I'm um, not knowing your worth, thinking that people are going to bail on you. So I'm going to bail out first. And it says you will have the motivation you need to express your light. Know that what you do today makes a, that world a better place. So... The surrender card, your power of surrender card says, surrender to the idea that you can fix someone. <laughs> we all do that, right? It says it's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. So, you know, are you taking what needs to be fixed within you and projecting it onto someone else? This is deep, Leo. But yeah, so surrender to that, you, you know. If you get into a connection, just know that people are going to have flaws. And we have to, you know, we're going to have to accept people's flaws. It's just got to, you got to be choosy at which flaws you can deal with. Because we all have flaws. You know, none of us are perfect. And then our tarot cards for you, Leo, are the Page of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Well, there's that burden. Ten of Wands is all about burdens, overwhelm. And the Page of Cups is, you know, like this emotional energy. Um, so you could be here carrying a significant burden that blocks your intuition and creativity. You know, feeling emotional, uh, mo emotionally drained and overwhelmed. So this is allowing yourself to feel though. This is saying allow yourself to feel those feelings. The only way we can acknowledge something and heal it is to feel them, feel those feelings. And come up with the solution of why do you feel this way? Is it something within you that you feel about yourself? From somebody's hurting you or from your childhood or whatever? So there's some energy here where, you know, you got to get out of that mode where you can change or, or fix someone and deal with your own healing. Okay, the, uh, so it looks like this might be because you're either attracting the same type of wrong person that keeps hurting you or breaking your heart or being a player. Or it could be that you are pushing people away or projecting your energy, your your shadows onto someone else, you know. So take a look at that because whatever that spark is, you have a lot of love to give. You have a big heart, Leo, and you deserve love. So you could be sabotaging that by attracting the wrong people and then trying to fix them and then thinking the grass is greener, whatever it is. It's something within you that you heal because there's something that can come in for you but you have to do the work so you will keep attracting that same disaster all right and running away from it all right so that is your message leo thanks so much for watching take care hi sagittarius so <clears throat> we're expanding on the energy of the weekly reading which is about that spark with inside that might not be going anywhere we might be blocking it ourselves or having external factors um trigger us to to block our path, whatever it is. So we're gonna get in a little more detail with each sign. So let's go ahead and see what yours is saying, Sagittarius. So we have storyteller. Storyteller, so what story are you telling yourself? Or what kind of story are you um, expressing to the world? Is it really who you are or, or what? Let's see what the shadow attribute is here. It says making up tales that harm others. So it could be gossiping. And then we have light attribute that says the ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols. So kind of the story of your life. What story are you telling? Right? So let's go ahead and get the essential oil here. 
So we have destiny with the Roman chamomile. And the trigger statement is, I am lost. So maybe you're not quite sure which way to go. Maybe you feel lost inside or which direction to turn to. Um, you have that fire within, but maybe you don't know which direction you, you want to go. And, you know, Sagittarius, you are an adventurer. You like to see and experience different things and travel. But maybe it's time to find where you feel home, like within yourself. And this true statement says, I do what I love. So it's, it's important to do things that we love, but are we staying too scattered and not really getting that experience of that home-like feeling within us? So it says, there is a path waiting for just you. Open your heart and mind so you can use it on your journey of fulfillment. So I feel like there could be something missing within you. Um, and maybe you don't know which direction to go to. It's kind of like that um, compass, but it's spinning in circles and you're not sure which way to go. So let's see what we need to surrender to. So we have surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. So I'm getting this energy of maybe you have people around you, um, Sagittarius, that are telling you which direction you should go to, whether it's, you know, go to this for for your profession or settle down with this person or whatever it is, but it's not something that you want to do. So you're feeling lost because on paper, it might look like the best thing, but within you, it doesn't feel that way. And everybody has their own unique journey. So I feel like there could be something with that um, interpretation of that. So let's get some tarot cards. So we have the Empress and the Nine of Cups. So, you know, the Empress is all about creativity and, and fruition and nurturing. And the Nine of Cups is like the wish fulfillment card. It's happiness and satisfaction. So when these two come together, you know, there could be an energy here of, you know, you know what's best for you. You know, you know what's best for you. And also, too, you know, watch the stories you're telling yourself because you really need to be grateful for things in your life. Even the challenges, you have to be, you know, you need to be grateful for them because they teach you lessons and make you stronger. But whatever it is, there's something here that you might be overlooking or dismissing or, you know, it could even be like a relationship where you're feeling like you're not settled or this isn't for you and you're missing out on what what is important. You know, maybe you're feeling like the grass is greener somewhere else, whether that's a location with a person. And you're not tapping into what you really feel, what makes you happy inside. Because there might be other people around you that are influencing you or trying to guide you in a direction that you don't want to go. So if, you know, if somebody's pushing you to do something that you don't want to do, you have to look within and figure out what makes you happy. It's your life. It's not everybody else's life. Okay, so it looks like you could be needing, like some spark here might be something that you create. You know, maybe you have some kind of desire or creation. You know, it could be like maybe you want to write a book or paint or or do something that is not within the normal limits of what other people think you should be doing. You know, you might be getting like, that's not a career. or That's so that, you know, you, you can't be with that person because of this. And only you know what's best for your life. So, you know, honing in, you know, going in the direction that your life is guiding you to. What makes you happy? What is your wish fulfillment? What makes you satisfied? And not letting other people pull you in all different directions. So I'm seeing this, um, that, what's that guy's name? That Armstrong, Stretch Armstrong, where people are pulling you in all different directions. Or maybe even your mind is, you know, you're just feeling like you've got to experience so much and you're staying unsettled and lost. But whatever this is, you know, you can find that way. But it has to be something that you want to do. You know, something that you get satisfaction from. So that is your message, Sagittarius. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.